Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for coming here. I've noticed on the app that most of you came from over a thousand miles to here. So thank you all for coming here and spending some great two days with us at the Customer Success Summit. Thank you. This is the fifth annual Customer Success Summit. Adrian stole all my lines. But, um, but you know, I can see people standing at the back. I can see that this event was completely sold out a week before. And this is amazing that we are all now on team customer success. Many companies have already bought into the idea of customer success. Large enterprises have implemented customer success teams. You guys are here. This conference was not free. Most of you paid top dollars to come here because customer success is meaningful for your businesses. And I'm very proud because only five years ago, when we first kicked off customer success, we had to explain what the, you know, the word are we talking about. And now everyone is on team customer success. So congratulations you all for being part of team customer success. It deserves a big round of applause. So now that we've established customer success and everyone is clear on the mission of customer success, I want to ask you a question that I've been thinking for the past few months. How can we make a bigger impact with customer success? An impact that is going to ripple across the entire organization. An impact that is going to take everyone into the customer success mission. I want to start with a story. This is Aaron. Some of you know Aaron. Aaron is one of Tatango's best customer success manager. And the story is about Aaron being at customer sites, trying uh, to finalize onboarding uh, configuration. And the next day, they had big training that Aaron needed to provide, and she had an issue. And this was a big training at a big customer. People were flying all over from the United States to be at that training. And it was 4 p.m. on a Monday, and the training was 9 a.m. the next morning. So Erin jumped into, she had an issue, so she jumped into uh, the systems that she had. She jumped into the company Slack. We use Slack internally into Tango. And she said, here's the situation, here's the customer, here's the issue that I'm having, and I don't have a lot of time. And immediately, people started to help out. Joseph from support was looking at the support queue if there is a, a, any issue that is similar. And um, uh, Shelly from engineering, back in Tel Aviv, was communicating with Erin. And they figured out the issue. And then Shelly said, Erin, don't worry. I got your back. I'm, I'm on it. By the time you start tomorrow morning, I'm going to take care of, of this issue. And that, was the, and that was the outcome, right? The, the customer uh, had a great training. How do you think Erin felt? She felt amazing. She felt the company got her back. She's not alone on the field. Everyone is supporting her. And this story was very meaningful to me and very inspiring because I felt that there are two things here that are worth learning. The first one is that this process, this customer success experience, was not just the customer success team. The entire company was around it. And the second one was that um, not only uh, the customer success was focused on it, but also other people were focused on it. And more importantly, leadership was not involved. It was not escalation that went through leadership and someone needed to, uh, to jump in. Erin jumped on Slack and people started uh, helping her out. And the moral here is that I think we've started with customer success rights. We've built technology that capture all customer data, product usage, adoption, engagement, support, uh, payment, billing. And we've organized it, and we've packaged that in a way that enables workflows for the customer success team. But like in this image, the fireflies are locked in a jar. There's so much more organizational potential talents, skills that were not involved in this model where customer success is driven just by the customer success team. What if 
we think we open it up. What if customer success is becoming more open? What if we open this data and knowledge to everyone within the, customer, within the company? So customer success knowledge and customer success mission is democratized. And what if we encourage people, like in Aaron's story, to sign up for the customer success mission, for the customer cause to help out? This model is a new model that I'm introducing to you today, and it's the open approach to customer success. It's a model that creates a bigger impact within customer success. Because when we open it up, everyone participates in the customer cause. And this is what we've been trying to do all along as companies. Put the customer first and orient and align the entire company around the customer. So if I, I'm trying to summarize it, getting into open approach to customer success to create a bigger impact around customer involves three things. Providing access to customer information to everyone within the company so everyone can ask for questions and get immediate answers. Allowing people and encouraging to participate and sign up. And maybe the most important thing, creating an impact. The point here is that sometimes we think about customers, customers as assets, right? Who have heard customer is an asset? Raise your hand. Customer is asset, conversation. We can see quite, quite a few talking about customers or assets. But if we add something else and we call it customer is a cause, and the company can align around this cause, we can create a bigger impact around uh, customer success. And one more thing, you all know what this is, right? This is Alexa, right? And Alexa is an amazing technology that enables us to go very easily and ask questions and get immediate answers and ask to control you know, uh, assets of our house. And uh, the beauty about this technology, the reason why I like it so much, you just talk to it and it understands what you're looking for. It doesn't create any new application that you need to log into. So in a very similar fashion, I want to introduce to you today Zoe. And Zoe is a new product. It is the embodiment of the open approach to customer success. Zoe was designed in a modern, agile, customer success platform, but it's a customer success platform designed to involve the entire company in customer success, not just the customer success team. And I don't know if you know that, but uh, I've looked, when we chose the name, we looked up the most popular names in California. Number one was Alexa, number two, Zoe. So we went with Zoe. <laughs> And Zoe is designed to do two very basic things for you. The first one is democratize data and customer success and make it available for anyone within the company. Literally, anyone within the company can, have, can inquire and get access to customer information. And secondly, Zoe was designed to a new model of workflow where instead of tasking people with what they need to do, publishing on a public board what are the customer causes that need support and people can sign up to participate and impact the customer success. I know it may sound a little bit futuristic, but let me tell you what I mean by that. So when I say democratize data, up until now this information was available just to customer success. Now it is available for everyone. So I, if I'm in sales, and I need to close a deal. How many of you from customer success got calls from sales saying, I need a reference, I need a reference? Yeah, I can see the hands, right? Everyone, right? Now sales can be self-sufficient. Zoe, please give me three customer references, and Zoe immediately responds with an answer. How many of you have been approached by marketing folks that were tasked with case studies? Zoe, give me some uh, information about customers that are in good standing because we want to write some case studies. Product, we want to know uh, which customers are using, using which products and it's at which capacity. Beta recruitment, executive knowledge. Everyone have access and can be self-sufficient and independent in their ability to uh, access customer information. Isn't this amazing? Yeah. 
Isn't this amazing? I want to tell you another story. It's a story about uh, an email that I got a few months back from a CEO of a client. And long story short, in this email, he is very upset that they lost one of their biggest accounts, and he was completely blindsided by that. And he simply forwarded to me the email, that he, uh, email thread he had with his team. And when I read through it, it was clear that the customer success team was very much focused on this account. They didn't sleep. They just worked on this account. And the CEO was not aware of that. And the customer success team could not involve anyone else. It was clear from the communication. There's more people that should have been involved in solving the customer issues. There were product-related issues. There were reliability-related issues. There were roadmap and lack of clarity. There are many points, but the customer success team basically operated in a silo. And what we're trying to do with open approach to customer success is simply to align every one within your company around your customers to create a bigger impact. Democratizing information and aligning people around the customer cause will create uh, the model where leadership is aware of what's going on with customer success. Cross-functional team are impacting the same, the same cause. And my point is one of the reasons why it's so difficult to do today is because the systems that we're using are capturing information that is not available for everyone. So everyone is looking at the information from their own set of perspective, and they're not collaborating or um, rallying around the customer cause. We have started to design and develop Zoe many months ago, and we've built this on the data technology that we've built for the customer success platform. We call it DNACX. DNACX is the technology that captures all information around the customer, usage, adoption, tickets, support, CRM, all the customer information in real time is captured into a centralized location and powered initially the customer success platform. Now it powers Zoe. It's the same technology. But we use it internally every day. I love Zoe. I experience Zoe every day. I think it's an amazing experience that you haven't seen before. Just the other day, in the context of this uh, conference, Christine asked me to invite several CEOs of our clients to uh, tomorrow's CEO session. We wanted CEOs that are doing a great job in customer success to share their journey with you as part of this conference. So I wanted to reach out to Eric, CEO of Zoom. Zoom is a great product. As a customer, we had great experience with them. And I felt that Eric, would have, Eric, the CEO of Zoom, would have a lot to say about how they're running their customer success organization. But before I could reach out to Eric, I need to know that the relationship between our companies are in good standing. So I turned to Zoe and simply typed, hey, Zoe, tell me if I can invite Eric to uh, speak at the at the CEO panel. And of course, I've, the question was a little bit different. Zoe tell me about Zoom, and I could see from the responses that there's very tight engagement. They're about to renew. They're about to increase uh, their relationship with the Tango. So I felt confident that I can move forward and reach out to Eric and invite him. And, and Eric Im immediately responded two minutes later saying, yes, I would love to. I would love to, to come on the panel. So you should come to more and listen to Eric speak and the other CEOs speak about their experience with customer success. But my point was that I felt very confident to actually take the step and invite Eric because I got immediate response and I didn't go to any system. I simply typed into Slack and got an immediate, immediate response. So my point is we all make decisions. CEOs make tons of decisions every day. And we want to make decisions with confidence. And for that, we need to make decisions based on data. And Zoe provides me with this, with this data that I didn't have before. And it's not just CEOs. Everyone makes decisions, not just CEOs. Everyone, product and marketing and sales, everyone makes decisions. And if we open it up and make, make the information available for them, they will make customer-facing decisions. So if I summarize what I was just trying to tell you in the last 15 minutes or so, I've asked you in the beginning, how can we make a bigger impact with customer success? 
now that everyone understands customer success and its importance for growth of businesses, adoption, retention, expansion, how can we make a bigger impact? And the answer is we open it up. We include everyone within the company in customer success. You provide access to everyone within your company to customer information. You encourage participation of teams around customer success. And maybe the most important mindset shift, we start treating customers and cause, as causes, and those teams that participate and sign up impact the customer cause. So open approach to customer success is the way to make a bigger impact with customer success. So I just announced a new product. I'm not gonna leave you with that. You will be able to experience with Zoe many opportunities today. Just before lunch, Ravit is going to do an on-stage experience with Zoe. The Tutanga booth is available at the Expo Hall and has four uh, Zoe stations in which you can experience with. And I wish you very productive two days, open approach to customer success, open your mind, think agile, and come back to your companies with making a bigger impact to your companies. Thank you all. I've mentioned that the workforce is changing. And the next two speakers are going to share their experience with that. Claire Burge is going to talk about how the future of work is chaos. So please welcome Claire.